With all the increases in power bills recently, many people are wondering what's next for the state of electricity in Hawaii. KITV4's Jefferson Tyler has the big picture on future power plants and details on the projects for one of the main contributors to Hawaii's electric plants. If you look on Hawaiian Electric's website, you can see in the green section 14 power plants and storage facilities set to go online in the next two years. While one is a geothermal plant, the rest are solar. AES and Interjex Renewable Energy are tied for the most on that list, four each. AES is ramping up renewables as it prepares to shut down its coal plant on September 1st. In Kauai, with our Lawai Solar Facility, that project, when it went in about three years ago, was paired solar with battery. You can see on this map AES's 12 renewable sites. Six of those still need to be built, and they're planned for an assortment of Hawaiian islands. On Maui for Kuihilani, that should be coming online uh, the beginning of 2023 um, or towards the end of 2022, and then we'll have our Waikoloa project, which is also in 2023, and our Oahu projects coming online around that time period as well. Part of the plans also include another power plant on Kauai, this one with a twist on hydropower. It's a hydro that's paired with solar and battery. They say they've already got permits for that, but there's also work that needs to be done on the West Oahu plant that's set to be functional by early 2023. This includes laying out solar panels, putting in connection lines, and a new substation. AES's coal plant will be dismantled after closure on September 1st. We're still talking internally about what could be done at the property site. More renewable energy may also be on the way from AES and other companies. Hawaiian Electric tells us that they've opened up a new period for companies to submit additional energy projects. We're looking at uh, sites across all of the islands to see if we can continue to contribute. Hawaiian Electric says that the more of these renewable energy plants that become active, the less petroleum they probably have to use, the more chance there is for electricity prices to come down. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.